Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. This time actually on a Friday, so I hope you're all proud of me. But my week is extremely hectic today, so this isn't going to be a long Fossil Friday. But I'm working on the piece that I started washing a few weeks ago now, so I'll link the first video down below. Um, but today I'm going to try and jigsaw it together and hopefully all the pieces will fit together. Um, but we will see. So I've been soaking off the mud. It's not all come off, so I'm also playing around with some alternative methods to try and dissolve the final layers because I really want that ammonite to just be that lovely mineralized layer but there's a lot of kind of mudstone to get off it first um, so I'm trying the vinegar trick obviously I don't want to dissolve the fossil but I'm hoping it will dissolve just the mud first um, and it's been quite amusing I left some overnight on pieces that don't fit together and they've grown a lot of crystals so I'll show you guys that in a minute but let's go see what we're working with but this process took me a few hours and I've let the water settle and look how much mud and slate there is at the bottom. So these, none of this is the fossil. These are all bits that have flaked off the fossil by being kind of submerged in water for a couple of days. And if I take a dental tool, you can see just how much we're dealing with here. Like this is, it's loaded. Like the amount that came off these pieces of fossil is pretty crazy. Now this took me a couple of hours. But I think I've got the majority of the large pieces together. Um, so you can kind of see how they all fit together. And as they were drying, kind of more pieces are flaking off. So you can see here, like there's loads of just like flaky mud. So I need to soak them all again. Hopefully kind of get some more of this mud off. Because I really want to just reveal that mineral layer in the center here. That's revealed a lot more detailing. So we can see up here lots of kind of fun details on the shell like oysters encrusted and I really want to get through all the kind of mud so that we've just got the lovely crystalline center revealed because it is a crushed ammonite but I think it's preserved quite cool so I'd love to like get through all the excess matrix and actually just see the ammonite however I think I'm missing most of the center so my thought was is almost to get bored and kind of prep this piece properly, join them all together, and then almost like artificially draw the center on the board. So almost like do an art piece with a fossil. So obviously most of the outer worlds are here and then I'll just like finish the middle. Um, so I thought it could look kind of cool because I, I think it's still a lovely piece. And if I can get through all this mud and slate, then it would look really awesome having like that crushed kind of mineral effect. I really want to reveal the kind of really intricate interior of the fossil. So obviously this is the cut through, but I think if we got rid of all the kind of gray mud on the top and we're really nearly there, like you can see it's not a thick layer left. It's just that final layer. I don't know how to kind of etch it down so we can just get the crystallized preservation of the ammonite. Maybe if I wet it, it might show it a bit better for you guys. Oh, it kind of got darker. <laughs> but you can kind of see what I mean there. It's got that crystal center. So we're gonna try and reveal it somehow. So that's what we're dealing with, but at least all the pieces kind of fit together. And then we've got a really large piece of the world here, which I think this ammonite was actually quite a bit bigger. So I think that belongs to an even larger section of the worlds that isn't, I think it joins either like round here or it's kind of, you can see there's like extra worlds here. So I think this ammonite came all the way around like this and probably even past there. So it was actually quite a bit bigger than what we see here. So I'm gonna try my best to put all the pieces I have together and then draw the rest of the ammonite so that we can see what the complete creature looked like. And I might even draw kind of the creature itself because I think it might make a really fun like art piece. Now, if we move over here, we can see my adventures with vinegar. So this piece here, I didn't know where it belonged on the ammonite. So I was like, I will do a test piece to see that it doesn't damage it. So I just used malt vinegar and you can see it's grown all these little white crystals on the surface of it where the vinegar has been. And so it's a fun little kind of like chemistry reaction. And the longer I leave it, the bigger they get. So I almost feel like I'm in school again and I'm going to leave it a few more days and we can see just how big these crystals grow. So they almost remind me of salt crystals, but they're a bit different. So I'm trying to show you guys what they look like. It's quite fun to see though, but I think this did work. So the vinegar was eating the mud and you can see here, it's definitely dissolved quite a bit of it because the water is completely gray. However, so is the fossil. So it hasn't dissolved 
everything that I was hoping it to. So it's still, still got mud on it, but it might be less mud. So I'm gonna leave it probably for another day and hopefully I'll still have a fossil and then see how much I can remove by maybe scrubbing with my toothbrush. But I also wanna see how big the crystals get. So I'm kind of doing two experiments in one now. So it's quite fun. But let me know if you have any advice on using vinegar on kind of crushed, crystallized fossils. The only reason I trust it is because I did it with Bellamnite and it didn't dissolve any of the crystals. Um, so I think it's fairly safe, but let me know what you guys think. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed seeing where I'm at with that fossil. I think it has a lot of potential if I combine art with fossil prep, um, just because it's not a complete fossil, but the bits that I do have, I think look really awesome. And if I actually show how big that creature was, it also shows with fossil hunting, you sometimes don't find every piece of the puzzle and you have to kind of use the imagination and science to work out the rest. So it could be quite a cool piece to almost like have some fun with and actually draw the creature on and the rest of the shell. And it just shows the bits that I found and the bits that, bits that I inferred, which could be fun. Um, but I hope you're doing well. Let me know if you have any advice on using vinegar on crushed ammonites like this, especially ones that have that crystallized kind of center, um, just because I, I want to find a way to get all this mud off it, but I also don't want to damage the fossils. So if I have to just tediously flake off every bit of mud and just get down to that crystallized center myself, then that's what I'll do. But um, if you have any advice on that, I'm all ears. But I hope you're all doing well. My Instagram is down below if you'd like to follow me on there. But I hope you're all doing well and hopefully I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.